the soybean aphid only became a problem uh, once we introduced GMO soybeans, if you were not aware of that, uh, uh, that uh, correlation that is there. The aphid in the soybeans was never a problem. Never a problem before. Yep. Coincidence? <laughs> you be the judge. <laughs> I'm sure it's just a coincidence. Wow. Yep. Soybean aphid only became a problem in the late 1990s. Now I know why they call you a disruptive doctor. That's a really mean thing to say. You're saying mean things you, about me again. You're I'm going to start to cry. You're a problem to the flow of chemicals and high-tech things for farming. I have been told that before. I have been told that before. But remember what drives me and also drives you is you put the farmer first. When you put the farmer first, things start to change. You, you start to change your whole mentality of how crops are supposed to be raised when you're trying to help a farmer. And a lot of what I do and have done is to help the farmer. I haven't worked as hard in order to help particular industries of which we are talking about. And therefore, I may not be making the big bucks uh, when you are being supported by them. But if you are conscious of the farmer and that is who you serve, you then change your mentality about what needs to be done in order to help that farmer survive because the statistics are obvious. And the statistics say that farmers are going out of business at a very rapid rate. I would like to change that as far as I can in my, in my own little way. A lot of the information that you and I give are, are things and pieces and tidbits that we've picked up on our own mm -hmm. research and it's the right thing to do.